Oh, well, g'day. We're looking at uh, Picasso, a wonderful little image editor and um, manager uh, that you can download for free from Google. Just uh, put in a Google search for Picasso, P-I-C-A-S-A, -S and it'll come up. And it's a lightweight download. I think from memory it's about 4 megabytes. Uh, install it on your computer, and what it will first do is... Um, uh, prompt you to scan your computer for pictures. Uh, they get, I think from memory you get two options. You can scan your entire computer for images or you can scan just your desktop C drive and my pictures folder if you're a Windows user. And by the way, Picasso is unfortunately only available for Windows and I think there's a development for Linux. Um, so when you've imported images from existing from your computer, they'll stack up here in your library which is over here on the right and they'll be reflected as folders down here on the left. Or you can import from a camera by clicking the import button up here or from another file um, on your computer somewhere. Every time you open Picasso it will scan the computer the way you've chosen it to do. Uh, you can set that up by going into Tools Folder Manager and the eyeball tells you what it's scanning the computer for for new images. You can turn off those to X's and have it only scan, say for example, my pictures folder or not scan anything at all and you can just manually import ev everything. So that's just a little tip to know on the setup. Okay, um, I'll just see what images I've got. Here's an, here's an image. We'll try this one. So when you double click an image, it changes the view to the edit view. The picture loads up here on the right and then the edit tools load up here on the left. Now the basic fixtures, uh, basic fixes, you've just got obviously crop and straighten, red eye reduction, um, all of that sort of stuff. Then you've got tuning, which is fill light makes it lighter, highlights make it brighter, shadows um, make the contrast more, and color temperature goes from warm to cold. And then they've got these inbuilt in effects. And you've got sharpen, sepia tone, black and white. And there's two types of black and white. There's standard black and white and there's black and white as so though you've got a filter on. You can put glow and things like that. And they're quite nice inbuilt effects. When you go through all of your pictures, when you've um, edited one, it's not actually editing the original. It's creating a file on top of the original. And you'll have to export the image if you want the um, effects you've made to remain. And the way to export them is for a start, when you're going through multiple images, you'll have to hold. You click hold and it will put a hold in this picture tray. And then you go ahead and do the next one, do the next one, do the next one. And then you move over here, down the bottom here, you have these um, different um, options. You can send it to Blogger or you can email it to somebody. But you've got this export folder. And you click export and it comes up with these features where you're going to put your folder to the name of the folder and you have an option to use original size or resize too and this is a good little um, tool for if you are um, planning to email this picture or put it on a website and things like that of course you need to know what pixels you are wanting to go for and generally a large-ish picture on a website is about 400 pixels to 600 pixels and then one small-ish for the internet uh, for emailing and stuff might be 300 and something like that and then the JPEG quality which is the quality of the compression so 80% is usually pretty good and then you drop that down if you really want to compress it harder. And that's about all there is to that. Uh, it's a marvellous little editing tool. Some built-in features. The only thing I wish it had is an ability to add um, text over the top of your pictures and they may introduce that in an update. They may already have it there and I'm just not aware of it. Uh, but um, and then probably to be able to create an image from scratch so to have a blank canvas and then to draw on it and things like that but then you start getting into a more like a GIMP or Photoshop type tool. So Picasso, very lightweight program, free, installed from, uh, <coughs> free to get from Google, quick to install and as you can see quite easy to use.